Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Brahma's Cove Tarot. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. They all mean the world to me. Thank you for your emails. If I haven't got back to you, it's because there's so many. I am reading them and I'm responding to them as quickly as possible. If you have um, sent a query about a booking, um, I will be responding to you by the end of today. Um, when I connected, I was I asked what it is that I should be focusing on, and I was told that dream, okay? Because last night I had a really vivid dream download, and um, there was a family member there um, who was trying to find out information. They were trying to find out information, being very complimentary, you know, saying, oh, I like what you're wearing, this and that, and trying to touch me okay so this may be also this light one there's somebody here within their family that is trying to find out whether the blocks that they've put in or what they sent what they sent worked okay and there's something about being stuck like glue why did i see stuck like glue yeah because look it's upside down my head now is not the time there's a block here or there's something that I heard don't go down that line or don't go down that path. Shall I take this? Shame. There's something here about feeling shameful for either actions or trying to place that feeling onto you or the person that you're thinking of, okay? There's something about um, someone's childhood and I heard that little demon child that little demon child and then you've got pleasure okay someone takes pleasure in creating blocks and they may have taken pleasure in creating blocks um, to their own sibling their own family member when they were younger because you've got scarcity here as well they take pleasure in seeing other people squirm in other people not having what they should have and it's almost like I'm seeing someone eating a meal and there's somebody next to them and they know that they're hungry. They know that they're hungry and they have got more than enough food, but purposely not giving any and eating it and making all the sounds like, mm, this is really yummy and blah, 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 blah. And watching the other person salivate. Okay, and I'm also seeing a dog, like someone does this to the, their pet or they do this to a, an animal or person that they were caring for, kind of knowing that this person's hungry or knowing this person's going without and purposely wanting to see that person squirm, okay? And I can feel this energy and it's right in the heart space, okay? It's right in the heart space. Now, tell me more. Because you've got happy family and you've got man holding the coin, okay? Someone here, they either sacrificed a family member or what they did is they sat yeah they sacrificed a family member to the man downstairs but i'm hearing the crossroads demon okay they wanted to sacrifice somebody in their family for the um the illusion of happiness and i heard 20 years so they may have been given the deal that for a certain amount of time they could have everything that they wanted they could have that 10 you know 10 of coins card um, they could have all the abundance and the happiness and have all the material things and have somebody there who wouldn't push too deep into finding out who they, they really were, what their insecurities were. And I heard it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because I heard the word, and I'll trigger warning right now, um, I heard the word molested. Why did I hear that word? Why did I hear that word? liberation upside down they tied themselves to more than what they expected it's almost like um when you watch those horror films of you know somebody who finds a genie but it's really a gin or it's something demonic or something along those lines and you know you have to be careful what you wish for you have to word it really carefully because otherwise you'll get what you want for but not in the way that you expect and they have made some sort of deal they sacrificed someone in their own family or they tried to but they ended up tying themselves to a lot more than they thought they were getting themselves into, okay? Especially with that M word, that M word, okay? And I heard in the thick of it, why in the thick of it? 
because the thing is as well like in that dream download um i've written it down there was a little demon child with a bald head that tried to attack a light one it had sharp teeth and was going to eat a poison apple to upgrade its own powers um, the light one tussled with it like kind of fought with it and stopped it and it said trust no one trust no one so whoever it was that they petitioned or that they because i heard brain fogged they've done something to a child but i heard many this family member didn't expect that this is what they were going to get when they went and made that agreement agreement with whatever demonic energy or low level energy it was that they went to they didn't expect this they wanted the riches they wanted the powers they wanted all of this but they didn't realize that what they were getting themselves into not only is it illegal it's immoral it's i heard i heard um the film by sam raimi um drag me to hell they've made a deal that's going to end up taking them taking their soul because you've got shine okay and I think there's a little bit of this frustration. It's not even a little bit. There's because I keep hearing the word seething. This person, as a child, was very, very jealous of a light one because no matter what they did, because I heard bully, no matter what they did, it didn't stop this light one from just shining and authentically being happy and authentically always looking for the, you know, the silver lining on the cloud. So no matter what they did, no matter if they did that, that, you know that situation with the plate with food and stuff like that the other child over there would be like okay they don't have any for me that's fine i can find something else i'll be okay i'll go and just eat an apple or i'll, I'll just go and do blah, blah 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 and even if there was sadness there that what that child that light one still looked for the best in that person who was bullying them or you know um they couldn't take away their shine they couldn't take away their shine what else would like to come out please and thank you so we have here archangel raphael the fourth chakra and awakening okay this person whoever it is that sacrificed them they were hoping that when they did this deal whatever it is that they did because i heard sold their soul it's hit them so hard in their heart chakra right now especially as we, as we go through mercury retrograde it's going to bring up all the things that we've left repressed or all the things that you know as much as the cycle has ended when it comes back it's going to trigger emotions because you know we're spiritual beings having a human experience and that human experience means that you know sometimes we hurt again whoever this person is they're trying to attach something now but they don't realize how protected this person's heart space is okay because when you walk through towers okay when you've been through so many towers and you come out on the other side stronger it makes your heart space a lot stronger <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it makes your heart space a lot stronger and i need to take a drink and i always find that when i start talking about specific things my throat tries to close itself up And I heard, don't talk about it. She hates when you talk about it. Now, you've got awakening here as well. This person may have been made aware or there was some sort of illusion that was hidden either over this person that they were working with. Okay, and I keep hearing demonic. <coughs> they were left with shame over what they did when they realized what they got themselves into when they realized that they were looking for this happy family they were looking for you know because i heard past timelines they may be stuck in an old timeline of when they were a child because you've got energy is gaining momentum upside down as well okay which means this person is not only losing their house there's something about them not being able to keep up with what it was that they kind of signed on the dotted line and because of that they're losing everything and not only that this awakening is also part of this light one this light one was so aware was so aware of what was happening maybe not as a child but as they have grown into adulthood or you know as they have grown spiritually they're aware of who this man with the, the holding the coin upside down is because i heard accosted him 
accosted him. So this this demonic energy may have tried to try to accost someone, okay? But this person was already awakened and was like, nah, I'm not gonna make a deal with you, okay? I've got my own things cooking. I'm growing my own, you know, my own abundance. I'm seeking, you know, a, a healing journey. I don't need you and I do not want any of that energy. And it was almost like there was this um, false illusion that was placed in front of this sibling or family member's eyes as to what they would get if they did sell, you know, sell out this this other family member. And it's been, the, the, I heard the rug has been pulled out from underneath them. The rug has been pulled out from underneath them. Now, why was I told about this poison apple? Why did I see this poison apple? Okay. There you go. Because you've got here Archangel um, Gabriel, throat chakra upside down, and the woman holding the coin. Okay, and I told you, with them saying she doesn't want you to talk about this. Okay, they are trying to close down the throat chakras of those who are messengers, truth seekers, those who are, you know, record keepers, anyone that is sitting in their divine purpose or seeking out their divine purpose. They're trying to close down communication, whether that is tech issues or whether that is actually coughing fits and things like that. Now, the thing is as well, is with this being upside down, whoever it is that's doing this, they are definitely losing their powers because they weren't able to keep up with what it was that they promised from their end, okay? And there's something here about guardians. And I heard she has none, or this person has none, okay? <clears throat> now, if I place this down here, because you've also got strategy, okay? And, and it's the right way up, and it's uh, two and one, so that's three. There's some sort of expansion. This is telling me, this is almost like childhood trauma for someone, whether that's a light, a light one or someone who is very unhealed and went down the other path, okay? But with this strategy, it was there's this bullying behaviour of growing up with a narcissist or growing up with someone who was very cold and calculated and knew how to um, gaslight, but at the same time play on this light one's emotions because they were so light and they were so, you know, innocent in seeing the good in absolutely everyone, even their own sibling or even their own family member, okay? But why am I being showing strategy? Why am I being showing strategy? Do you want me to take that one? Daughter spirit. Make sure you can see that. And again, that condenses down to five. There's something here about trying to put a tower in, or this person going through a tower, whoever this um, this unhealed one is, <coughs> going through some sort of tower, okay, and locking, there, there was some sort of prayer or some pleading that was done, and I heard ancestors come back to me. So is this present, past or future? I heard all in all, okay? So someone here that I heard, I keep hearing this in my videos, they're losing their sight. They're losing their powers, but they're losing their sight and someone is very unwell at the moment, okay? And they may be coming to light ones in their dreams, looking healthy or slightly overweight with very long hair or, you know, looking like they don't have a care in the world. But someone, there's, um, I said, I heard hiding burns. Someone's hiding burns. Because I remember in one of my readings, it said that somebody either burnt the kitchen or they burnt the place that they were doing a candle. I can't remember which reading it was because it was a while ago. But this person has burnt themselves. They tried petitioning one of their ancestors and their ancestors have walked away from them because if, it, if this is a family member, you share many of the same ancestors. Not all, but you share many of the same ones. And... <clears throat> this here this here about trying to trap there's some sort of blockage that they were trying to put in they may have been using sex magic as well especially with that pleasure card being upright and to do with purple so this is spiritual attacks as well they may also be st um, still trying to send sex like sexual distorted energy to this light one now this came out sideways okay and at first it went down but then when i picked it up it went sideways this person is still trying to get into a light one's dreamscape. They're trying to find out what you know, but they're also trying to come over with the energy of friendliness or I want to reconcile, okay? But with it being sideways, you already know that they're coming sideways. 
you know their energy okay because i heard blocked off because look you've got the woman holding the heart this person has no love for you the person you're thinking of the light one that you're thinking of okay because you've got manifestation there's something here about blocking a person's love life or trying to find ways of putting how do you want me to put this this way that way there's there's something about trying to put um some sort of blockage or a hold up on someone's um, divine counterpart meeting them or if you're already with your divine counterpart you two staying together okay tell me some more let's have a look yes sabotage sub sabotage this person is constantly trying to find ways of tripping up a light one because with self-sabotage to strategy shine and scarcity this person doesn't like it when you the person you're thinking of whoever it is that you know i'm picking up on this energy they don't like it when this person is happy they don't like it when this person is happy because they feel like they i heard they should be you they should be you in the world it was, and I think that there is this realisation from them as well that all the deals that they've made, whether that's on the etheric realm or in this realm, because I heard counterfeit, for someone there's something to do with counterfeit money, or, or especially go back and look at the video that I've uploaded saying that this person has tried to cash checks in your name. Whatever it is that they've been doing, it's almost like to fill a void in them. <clears throat> and with the world upside down, it was never fated for them to go down this path but they did it anyway okay and this it's now fated for them never to have this happy family or to have this happy ending because you have archangel raphael here who is literally calling to them and they're not listening you've got archangel gabriel here telling them they are blocked they're blocked and they're not listening anything else that would like to come out please and thank you Someone here works very um, fervently, is that the right word? Or ferociously with mirror magic and water magic, okay? There's something about having a darkly lit, lit room and standing in front of that mirror or reflecting something into that mirror. Because I keep hearing hydromancy as well and I can hear water dripping, drip, drip, drip. And you've also got here blossom abundance and care and connections i told you this was something to do with relationships okay now this person over here as well they've messed up their own relationships it's not just that they've lost their um they, they haven't just lost their powers they've lost all care and connections this person may have been estranged from the entire family from part of the family or only from this light one however the people that were in their life that had the illusion, this person had this illusion over, over their eyes that the people in their life, they could control and they could manipulate to have that happy family, are walking away from them, okay? Because you've got blossoming abundance here as well. Whatever they did, whatever they sent, especially through that mirror magic, has been sent back, because I'm seeing a crack through the mirror. What else have we got here? Because we've also got indecision, and then we have the temple of my body upside down. This person is very jealous of the way that a light one looks, okay? Because when you're happy, you know, when you are genuinely happy, it radiates out of you, okay? And there's that really cheesy saying, which I love, which is when you smile, the whole world smiles with you. And it's it's not even about that. So if you walk down the road and you smile, other people are more likely to smile at you back, you know? And this person doesn't like the way that you look. They don't like that you're happy, but they don't like... I heard how pretty or handsome you are and there's something about your physique because when you look at this okay and you look at this woman she looks wretched doesn't she it's like she's not eating but she also looks really possessed like how long her nails are so there's something here about um there was definitely something trying to affect the sixth house of a light one because the sixth house is ruled by virgo so that's your mental health but that's also the food and nutrition that you put in your body and there was some sort of depletion in not just energy the way that they energy harvested was to deplete energy to deplete vitamins to deplete um serotonin especially to make this person depressed or feel stagnant or feel tired not wanting to go and do things but this, with it being upside down, okay, this has been sent back, 
it's almost like well this is this is what you get for signing your your soul away in other words because you try to sacrifice someone else's and you couldn't give up you couldn't give the goods up so now you're losing that this person as well it's not even that they're going through a dark night of the soul it's that they know that that dark night of the soul is there they know and that the, the portal in their heart because i'm seeing like a heart made out of glass but this person, they've put up such a wall that they can't even hear the angels calling them, okay? Because you have one that's turned away. You have Gabriel that's turned away. You have Raphael who has not, okay? And I heard, I will not forsake you. So you have this angel here going, open up your heart, open it up, and then going, no, I'm not doing that. But then every time that they say no, and every time that they, they kind of... Um, walk away from any angelic help that's trying to help them they're sending back all the stuff that they've been sending out to this light one they've just sent it back so um please be aware of like your energy levels how much you're sleeping and also for some reason your plants it came to me your plant life and how your plant is doing because i heard for some of you they're flourishing um and if someone needs to go and have their vitamins checked well, there's something to do with, I heard an aura, an aura reading. Someone needs an aura reading to find out what um, what energy centre is, I heard, is weak. And for others, what ones are kind of overcompensating. Because you've got here Angel of Love, okay? And that is a four and a nine. And you can then say, that's six, that's balance. That is absolute balance. And perchance to dream. Yeah, see, this person is still trying to get into a light one's dreams. But with that angel of love there, there is something about someone's aura that is very big. Because I'm seeing cherries for some reason. Does someone eat cherries? Someone may need to eat cherries. Someone may have the name cherry. Okay. Why do I have cherry lipstick? What does that mean? have a look feeling safe oh and then you've got envious gluttony underneath and for some reason i want to turn this one over there you go okay someone has a massive it's almost like oh why did i want to say a love portal someone has some sort of massive massive um shield around them their home but they have a massive portal around their home and the reason that i say that is because not only with this one with feeling safe and you see that beautiful ring behind her with four, which is, is um, safety, security, and it's the, um, the fourth house cancer, which rules your home, you also have envious gluttony upside down. Okay, this is about loving yourself. It's about, um, I heard everything in moderation, and then you have black flower fragrance upside down, protected from black magic. You guys are so divinely protected. I love this. Okay, and if I look all the way down here as well, this person has been building and building and building their jealousy, but I heard rage quietly over the years or over a certain amount of time since they were young. Okay, and there's a lot of self-sabotage. Someone may have self-harmed. Okay, but you've got here indecision upside down and then you've got black flower fragrance. They are fully aware that anything that they're sending, this light one is too protected. And they're not only protected by, let's say, angels or by their sovereign fire, but it's love. It's unconditional love. And when I was setting up for this reading, I always, you know, I call in my angels to clear my energy fields and to ground me and so on and so forth. But I, I remember saying to activate my higher heart chakra. And I never say that. And there's a reason for that. Your higher heart chakra is your 13th chakra. And it resides an arm width away from your body and about a hand down from where your heart chakra is, and it's what connects you to the, the oneness of everything. You know, it's that unconditional love that flows through absolutely everything. And it's also your intuition, because when you think of it, you sense it before you know it, if that makes sense. And where do we feel it? Straight in our chest. For me personally, I do. But this person knows, they are aware that there's more at work here than just your ancestors or just your, you know, your light team. There's something grander here. There's almost like a wall of love around this light one. And I'm hearing Kuan Yin, okay? So someone here works with Kuan Yin. And if you don't, this energy is around and it's the, um, the goddess of mercy and forgiveness. Now, I am not saying that you have to forgive 
the people that are doing this. I am just suggesting, especially with these cards coming up, that you forgive yourself for being being part of it. And I don't say being part of it like you've done this to yourself and you deserve it, but just the energy that's invested in this because none of us deserve to be treated the way that we have by whoever these people are but it it can sometimes leave a little bit of a heart wound so if that resonates for you call on Kuan Yin she is a beautiful energy a beautiful energy and she will help heal any tiny wound that there may be in regards to that because underneath you've got cornucopia Okay, healing always brings in balance, but it always brings in abundance because when we feel that we are worthy of abundance, then the universe says, hey, you're matching that vibration. Let me give you more of it. Okay, and you've also got goddess of the moon. This is quite beautiful. There's some sort of blessing that's coming in for a light one, for always shining, for always shining. Shining day or night is what I'm hearing. Shining day or night. What else would like to come in before I go because you've got naked before the stars okay and if I place this one over here this there was some sort of um, wish fulfillment for this illusion of a happy family to be placed on this light one so that it could so that the, the rug could be pulled out from underneath this person at the last moment okay and you've got seasons seasons and cornucopia it's not going to happen though okay because there's something coming in very quickly for this light one there's something coming in for this light one what is it i had a change of scenery for someone a change of scenery what does that mean please and thank you what does that mean my love please well you've got here woman holding the heart up or down down this is expansion, okay? And we were just talking about that massive wall of love around, and I heard Yeshua for someone as well. But 4-4, four, four, this is moving home as well. But this is also to do with your fourth house, okay? This is emotions. There's some massive healing that's coming in. And I know there's some sort of monetary wealth coming in, but it's almost like the ancestors are saying that you need to do this healing first before it's bestowed upon you, okay? You've got triumph of lies underneath. Why have I got triumph of lies underneath? And you've got the door to healing, to personal healing and happiness, and it's upside down, okay? And I heard the word triggered much, all right? So someone here, whether this is the sibling or the family member who's really angry, they're really angry at when they're trying to get into your dreamscape, or get into your, you know, as your astral projection, trying to get into your dreams, that they're not able to trigger you and they're getting triggered by how calm you or this light one is. Okay, because I do remember in that, that download of this light one saying in their head, oh gosh, I hope I don't have to see this person again. I hope that this is just going to be the last of it. Like I'll do all the civil, you know, the civil, what's the word? Be civil, you know, giving one word answers. Let's get this finished. And there's something here about it really triggering and angering this unhealed person, this unhealed family member, because they're not able to, um, what's the word? I always say it, they're not able to poke the bear. They're not able to poke the bear. And with this triumph of lies, they're lying to themselves that they'll ever be able to get under the skin of this light one because they are seeing this light one as who they were when they were younger, before they were awakened, before they had, you know, self-worth, because some of us were very disempowered growing up because of the oppression or the energy or the bullying or, you know, traumatic events that happened. But many of us, if not all, have gone through so many trials and tribulations, so many obstacles and challenges, that it's been a testament of our character, of our faith and of our love for ourselves that whoever it is that's trying to dreamscape, whoever it is that's trying to energy harvest, they do not know who this light person is anymore. And they're just holding on to the fragments of the idea of who they were before. And this is something they don't understand. And this is why they're getting so triggered and so mad and so angry. It's because they think that doing things that would anger them is the same as doing things to you to anger you, if that makes sense. Okay, because you've got resistance here and door to personal healing and happiness. Someone here needs to revisit something from their childhood. 
okay, and to surrender to it. That will not resonate for all, but if it does for you, if it brings up a memory that is painful, you have your angels and your ancestors saying, now is the time. Now is the time to just open it up and be completely bare, be very vulnerable. And it's not about reliving that moment, but it's that's again where Kuan Yin comes in. This is about pouring love into yourself for whatever it was that you should have been told at that time or for whatever it is that happened to you that should not have happened. Pour love into that so that you can change that timeline. And in changing that timeline, you're, you know, giving yourself more love and healing from that. Anything else? I've been told I don't need these two. But you know what? You've got worthiness and cosmic power. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on these two with this advice from our ancestors. Is that we're at a place where, especially with that cosmic power and that big sun, that is to do with your solar plexus. Okay, I'm really proud of you guys for coming as far as you have. Okay, because going through a tower, sometimes we have to go through them by ourselves. It is a testament of patience. It's a testament of divinity. It's a testament of strength and how much we love ourselves to be able to do that. Whether you go through it with other people or by yourselves, but your ancestors are very, very proud of you. Keep keep going due north. Just keep going due north because whoever this person is in the family, as you see, you've got the world card in reverse. They're not going to get what they want because what they want is just to more or less steal your, your energy, your essence, because they don't want to heal. And as they say, you know, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And many of you may have tried to heal this person or may have tried to help before realizing that this person doesn't want help. They just want to take. OK, so stay in your due north. I love you all. Um, if this if you are new to this uh, channel and um, this reading resonated for you, I'd love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, I love you always. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Cove. You make it so worthwhile. Anyone that is interested in a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box below. If anyone feels called to give a donation, which is never expected, but always appreciated because it means I can pour more love into this channel. My information is down in that description box um, below as well. If if you look at the second paragraph that's where my email is please be aware that there is someone going through the comment sections of some of my videos and some of my um, community posts pretending to be me if you do not see the black banner with my name on it it's not me just block and report them please okay um, sending you lots of love lots of light and I will see you in the next one okay bye